Maxie Baird coming out of his corner to take on Lou Nova, Madison Square Garden, New York, April 4th, 1941. Scheduled for 15 rounds. Nova at the left, Maxie Bear at the right. Bear, 18 pounds heavier. Just sort of feeling each other out here in the opening moments of the first round. This is the second time these two men have fought. In their first fight, June 1st, 1939 at Yankee Stadium, Nova stopped Bear in the 11th round. But there were no knockdowns in that bout. A severely lacerated mouth caused the referee to halt the contest. Neither fighter held the title at the time of that bout. Well, look at Maxie Bear waiting for Nova. Nova comes right to him. Bear weighs 220 and three quarter pounds. Nova, 202 and three quarter pounds. Bear calling over to him and takes a poke in the jaw for his trouble. The referee is Arthur Donovan. Nova is a two to one favorite to win this bout. There's a huge crowd at Madison Square Garden. 22,114 on hand. Maxie Bear, ready and waiting for round four. It's a scheduled 15 rounder at Madison Square Garden. A looping overhand right, and Nova may be hurt. You saw him stagger for the moment, and Bear is coming right after him. He goes into the ropes. Down for a count of one, that's all. A knockdown by Maxie Bear of Lunova. And now Maxie Bear is going all out against Lunova. Nova, wobbly need, fighting back against Maxi Bear. Nova was staggered. Now he seems pretty well recovered here in the fourth round. A good right hand by Lou Nova. And another right hand, and yet another. And Bear may be in trouble. Bear hit Nova with that looping overhand right in the early moments of this fourth round. Nova was on Queer Street for just a few moments, but now he seems to be just about completely recovered, and he has Maxi Bear in trouble here in the fourth. Bear could not follow up his advantage. They're right in Max Bear's corner, near the end of this fourth round. And that's the end of the round. Bear is mighty pleased just to slide down onto a stool. They come out now for round six. Lou Nova, much the fresher of the two. Nova, having survived a fourth round knockdown, is in good shape, but Maxie Bear is now beating him to the punch. Maxie Bear saying, now, now, Lou. <laughs> Maxie Bear welling away with lefts and rights to the stomach. But Nova is in superb condition. He was a fine all-around athlete as a collegian, a football player, a javelin thrower, and a fine baseball player. Maxi Bear staying in his own corner, waiting for the gong to end round six. And there it is. And all Maxie has to do is sit down.
Lou Nova at the top of the screen, Maxi Bear at the right. Bear with that tremendous punch. We saw it in the fourth round, and it knocked Lou Nova down. Nova has that jolting left jab. As an amateur in Paris, France, he won the International Heavyweight Amateur Championship of the World in 1935. He made his pro debut in Madison Square Garden in January of 1936. That's the end of round seven. Max Bear and Lou Nova. Round eight of a scheduled 15 rounder. Maxi Bear looking to end it with one punch. Lou Nova cutting down Maxi Bear. Wearing him down. Nova having come back strongly after being knocked down in the fourth round. And now Bear goes down. An overhand right. Bear is on his knees. Waiting now for the count to get to eight before he stands up. On his feet. And Lou Nova is ready to go at him. Bear in serious trouble. Nova belting away, looking for the one good one. Lining up Maxi Bear. And down goes Maxi again. And Bear is wobbly need. And Arthur Donovan stops the fight. Harry Bala announces Lou Nova the winner. The time, two minutes, 18 seconds of the eighth round. Greatest fights of the century!